Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully installed one of the Laravel package as a Laravel Excel package, right? So now by this package, we are able to export all the data and also we'll be able to import all the data. So I show you, like right now for the permission I want to do, I want to export all the data and also I want to import this data by from to the Excel file. Right, so now here where I want to do, I want to add some of the button that is in our all permission page. A step by step, everything will be very clear. Right now, I want to close it. Now that is our all permission. Okay, so into the all permission, better I want to take another two of this button. I copy it and I paste it and I paste it. Okay, so I name it as a, that will be, that will be for the X import. Okay, that will be for the import and that will be for the export, export great so for the import i want to do and to use different class here i want to use it as a as a warning okay w a r n i n z i use that as a warning class and for this one i want to use it as a danger okay danger great now let's check this out if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it Hmm, you can see now that is a two of this button is uh, successfully visible and here that is very close i want to do and to separate it with one of the html code okay that will be the end so that means and and nbsp okay now by this we can actually add some of the separate in here i better use it as a three and also i want to use it as a three now click as a save all and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see it look like much better great so first of all that is our input okay into the input area here i want to create another new page so in our inputs into the input i want to create another new route and i just name that route as a import okay import permission permission this type of one of the route i want to create so now let's create this route as an import permission i want to go to that our web.php and you can also use it in here better in our role controller i want to create it so that will be the same better i copy it and after that i want to paste it okay i simply paste it now that will be for name i name it as a import permission so that will be as a import permission a url will be as a import permission i want to create on the new method as a import permission okay now i simply copy it i want to create this type of one of the method in our role controller now go to that our role controller here after that i want to do and to create another new function that will be the public and then function right the public function or method name will be as a input permission great so here only i want to do and to load one of the view page so i return one of the view page that will be return view in our backend the same in our pages in our permission folder now to create another new file as import underscore permission okay now this type of one of the page i want to create that's all now i want to create it in our permission folder so if you go to that our resources view into the resources view that is our pages and that is our permission folder now better here i want to create, create another new file i name it as a save as and that will be as import permission dot blade dot php so here that will be one of the input add file type that means if you go to our add permission okay from to the uh, from the that permission i want to copy everything okay from our add permission i copy it and now in our input uh, that is the input permission here i want to paste it okay here we don't need any validation i want to remove this validation and also this day will be not needed i want to better remove this one okay great now that is our only one input field and also that have one of the button that is also one of the form so now i want to change it that will be as the import okay i want to change it as the import import permission great and the input file that will be one of the file type i want to take it okay that will be as a file type great and as here i want to name it i name it whatever the name actually you choose right now i name it as a import import underscore file now this type of one of the name i simply added in here and that will be imported file name i make it as a excel sx excel file import okay now i name it as excel file import and that will be not the save changes here i want to make it as upload okay that will be the upload mm, that's all now let's check this out click as a save all and now i want to run or optimize so that will be as a php artisan optimize 
and successfully running and now if you go refresh it now if you go to that our import now that should be loaded another file yeah you can see that is now another page is loaded successfully as a import permission that is display as a import permission that is one of the excel file and from here when you select it then that will be uploaded from to this position okay and better i want to change that our button okay this button actually not look at it i want to use this type of one of the um, things okay i want to use this type of the uh, warning and then that will basically look at it now i want to use it that will be inverse and now click as a save all and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see it's like look like much better right and also here i want to add another download excel file so download excel file will be like as a i want to do if you go to our all permission here that is on the page broad come that is on the link right better i copy it okay i copy it or rather than i copy the danger one i copy it and now you know input permission here that is a paste contain right that is a paste contain so now if you go i want to take that nav if you select this nav nav is ended but i want to copy this total nav after that paste contain right so after the page content i want to paste it here only i want to take one okay i want to take one that will be for the download down download download that will be the download excel file okay xslx so that will be our download excel let's check this out click as a save all and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see it's now successfully visible as a download excel file great so here i want to do friend when you click as a download excel then a specific our permission related all the data that will be downloaded to the excel file and also i want to do from here you choose some of the excel file and after that when you click as a upload that excel file so all that our uploaded excel file will be updated in our database okay that means here that will be updated so don't worry step by step everything will be more clear to you right now here we successfully design our input permission page here there is a two button one is the download excel file another will be as the upload excel file so first of all i want to complete that our download excel file okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video